Okay, it's March 5th, 2013. Shoff Sugar Shack. This is one of the smaller areas that I've got tapped. About 150 taps. You can see the line zigzagging through the woods here. Up close and personal with this tree, you can see sunny side. That sap is really starting to gush out of the hole on the sunny side where things have thawed. This is the spile that goes in that's sucking as the vacuum pump sup sucking the sap through the lines to one area. I'll tap that in very gently and set it. The sap runs down through that line into a T which is called the lateral line here. This lateral line connects several trees. There are 13 taps on this particular lateral line and all these lateral lines run downhill to what's known as a main line. The main line has a saddle on it and it's through this line that the sap from all 13 taps at once travels. You can see it being pulled through there by a vacuum pump sucking it downhill also. The action of the vacuum pump helps pull it out. You get about double the amount of sap by using a vacuum pump. Now all these saddles join up all the way down through the main line and they meet down there at that low spot where I've got a vacuum pump, a releaser mechanism, and a collection tank. Again, about 150 taps on this bush, but when they're all dripping, 150 drips at one time, all meeting at one place under vacuum is pretty impressive. Up close of a line. I believe I just heard the releaser dump. Yep. See how it's going backwards now? The releaser's dumping. It's going to grab the pressure here again in a second, and those bubbles will start coming back this way. And there they go. We got suction back and vacuum, so the sap starts moving down that direction again. Go down here, I'll show you the releaser and all the sap meeting in one spot. Might be a little hard to hear my play by play. Here's a good look at sap running through the lines. A lot of sap here. This must be primarily south facing trees. Temperatures are borderline today. Only about uh, 34 degrees in sunshine. So it got started late. It'll freeze early, but tomorrow with 38 and sunny ought to be ought to be a heck of a day. At least we're hoping. Running about 28 inches of pressure, and all 150 taps feed into this one spot, all dripping together. That's what you end up with. Again, it's not running very hard right now. There comes little surges here and there, but uh, temperatures are very borderline. This mechanism is called the releaser. When it gets full, it dumps into this tank, and that's what we got so far today. Not too much. Again, Shop Sugar Shack, this is the woods and collection portion. Next will be RO and Sugar Shack. February 13th, 2013, Shop Sugar Shack. Sugar house. We just got the evaporator up and running. Old school. Wood fired with a blower down there to get that fire nice and hot. This is the flue pan. Float box, here's where the concentrated sap comes in. Usually takes about 40 gallons of sap to make a gallon of syrup, but we run through reverse osmosis, so it takes about 10 gallons of concentrate to make a gallon of syrup. This flue pan does most of the evaporating. Comes in through this front float box and weaves its way through a series of channels up here up front.
when it reaches 213, I'm sorry, 219, got a ways to go. Right now it's at 213, but we don't have too much of a too much of a boil going at this point in time. Just got it up and running. We draw off into that bucket to our filter tank. And from the filter tank into the finisher, where I heat it up, filter it one more time into the bottler, and then into these containers. Anywhere from a gallon all the way down to a half pint and some glass bottles. Victor, New York, Shop Sugar Shack. Okay, February 13th, these are my Sugar Shack helpers. Can you say hi, Hayden? And here's Avery, he's my labeler, wood hauler, and uh, sap foam guy. Here's Jordan, he's my quality control taste tester guy. He tastes it and helps out with everything. He's really good with hauling wood. Is the syrup good, Jordan? You like it? Abe, what do you think? Is it good? It's great. All right, it's great. That's right. Shoffs Sugar Shack. Here's what we got going on. You can get a little better view of it now. This front pan is known as the syrup pan. You can see a lot of sugar starting to build up in those front pans. I can tell by the uh, shape of the bubbles what they look like and the texture of them. This one over here it isn't uh, that close to being syrup yet. Closer, closer, and just about ready to draw off over there on that last chamber um, as soon as the temperature gets to 219. Wood fired, good dry wood we got rolling here. There's the RO machine, RO in the sap. Hayden is checking things out, making sure that everything's working, right, buddy? Hayden, what goes in the fireplace? What does daddy put in the evaporator? What do I put in there? Is that fire hot? Yeah, it's hot, isn't it? Say bye bye. Say bye bye to the camera. Papa. Guys, say bye bye. I gotta stoke the fire. See you on YouTube.